Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Sid Meier's Civilization VI in our Eight Ages of Khmer series, where Alexander is trying to give me a hard time. Victoria is really giving me a hard time. Hey, Alexander wants peace. He's willing to give me a good amount for it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take this deal just so he'll leave me the hell alone for a bit. I didn't want that war with Alexander. I don't need that war with Alexander. And we don't need the war weariness. So, thanks. That actually is a great beginning to that episode. And it looks like... Okay, so they're coming after the Warrior Monk. Big surprise. And that Warrior Monk is now promotable, which is very good, because their first promotion is going to make them a lot stronger. And that knight is now dead. How does that feel? Was that uh, part of your plan? Okay, so they're firing on that Warrior. Oh, man. It's going to be tough getting close to Cobble. They're managing to do a good amount of damage. Yeah, I get it. I get it. You don't like me. Knock it off. You occupy one of their allies' cities. Okay. Well, you built the Forbidden City, so I don't like you very much either, sir. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, two times flanking bonus, or only adjacent enemy units can reveal this unit. Yeah, let's do the two times flanking bonus. And then, why don't we go ahead and fire on this knight? Meanwhile, I can go ahead and move these pikemen... Let's have them heal. Uh, it's a little risky, but let's have them heal for one more turn. I'm going to bring this catapult down as well. I'm, to tell you the truth, now that we know we're not at war with Alexander anymore, I kind of want to just bring all of these units down as rapidly as possible to really expedite this attack process. The only reason that could be a bad idea is if all of a sudden Sumer finally decided, hey, I don't like your face. Um, and uh, <laughs> that's entirely possible. But we're going to see if we can get away with um, avoiding that outcome for now. Uh, let's... See up here, Vimeapura. We could do a Dom right here as well. I'm gonna build more Dom rights. We're gonna have a bunch of those in a second, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, this crossbowman needs actually, we need to do a lot of ranged firing for a bit here because otherwise, we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble. Probably need to fire on these guys first. Well, there's an argument to be made for, yeah, you know, let's fire on the one that I don't know. Tough decision. Yeah, let's fire on the one that's closer to our frontline unit. I'm a little worried about this about this guy. I kind of want to pull him back. Or maybe I should... Uh, yeah, let's bring this knight down. It's not... It's not ideal. It'd be wonderful if that knight got a promotion from that, but no. They're close to it, but not quite yet. At least that's a little bit of a buffer for the swordsman, and we need to get the battering ram in range of Kabul, and then we can knock those walls down fast. And then Kabul will no longer be able to fire on us so easily. And the f city should s just die a lot faster. Which is my personal hope. That sounded vindictive. I'm sorry. Okay, we are arriving on the shores of the New World. Finally, I'm seeing some niter. And we're just going to settle as many cities as we can. And that's one of the things that's going to help us turn this around. We've had those settlers waiting for a while. Nice. Warrior monks doing a little bit of damage. A little bit of sound dropout. Talked about in the last episode. Not sure why it's happening. We're not really playing that big of a map. Interesting, they're still firing on the warrior. Should have known that would happen. No, Vicky. Knock it off. I don't care. <laughs> so mean. All right, what we could do is move the battering ram down to join the knights and have them attack alongside the knights. That would have the same effect. So, battering ram. Join the knights, please. All right, actually... Ooh, it wouldn't have very much of an effect, would it? Let's go ahead and attack those guys. You might level up from that, maybe? They're close, but not quite. Um... Pikemen are going to be needed soon. Let's go ahead and roll them in, and these catapult... Oh, of course, that's the one tile they can land on. Um, hmm. Let's finish off those guys. Well, one thing I could do here is I can move the Great General down here. And the catapult down here. That would put them in range of Kabul, and Kabul would be able to fire on the catapult. I don't know that they'd necessarily finish it off this turn. Unless they have a knight right there. <laughs> Which, of course, they do. Because why wouldn't they? <sighs> all right, so this swordsman needs to move back. You go all the way back there. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's see. What can we do here? We need to get. Uh, we, now we're in a bit of a pickle because we need that battering ram to be where it is. We can't we can't compromise on that. We also probably need to do damage to the walls right now. Oh, this sucks. Actually, no. It's it's. Look at this. It's letting me fire. Is it because of the great general? It might be. It might be because of the great general that is letting me fire on Cobble. 
Maybe... Alright, here's what I'm gonna do then. Um, because we might not have this freaking... Tell you what, let's go ahead and move Boudica down to join with these guys. Oh, we can't. Boudica, can you not move? Seriously? Alright, well... If she survives, she will survive, she'll go back to our city, we're gonna have her join up with another unit, because that catapult might not live for much longer. But these pikemen will be able to come in and fight against the knights, if all this unit survive till the next turn, in the next little bit. Alright, these crossbowmen are on their way down. You guys, I think, were on the way over to repair that food tile. Yes, you were, very good. We have our settlers arriving on the shores of the New World. Hey, look! Look what I found! Barbarians! Who's surprised? Actually, our scout's not too far. Well, they're kind of far, but they're not too far away from the settlers. All right, Warrior Monk, you stay right there. You are our one defensive bastion against the threatening hordes of... What's-his-face? Um, if I attack with you, you'll be substantially weaker against... You know what? I'd rather fortify you for now. Um, see, that's a wall hit that we really need, though. That's the thing. That would Look how much it would weaken the unit, look how much it would weaken the walls. What do we have in the area that can help draw that fire? You know what, let's do it. Let's do it. We've got to be a little bit more aggressive. Let's see, and this warrior monk can come in. I'll keep you there for now because you're still healing up a bit. But Alright, let's. this is a critical turn. Let's see what this knight does. I would imagine they're going to hit the catapult. That's the obvious move to make. Yep, they're attacking the catapult. And actually didn't do... Really? Okay. They got their encampment back somehow. Uh, no, I'm not going to open my borders to you. Um, but I will take your elephants in turn for Mercury. Thank you. Alright, they got their encampment back some stupid way. That's actually really annoying right now of all times for them to get their uh, encampment back. That's terrible, terrible timing. Kind of makes me mad, to tell you the truth. Um, all right, there we go. We got a little triad of units going. That's nice. Now this knight, for whatever reason, can't attack this turn. Why? Um, okay. Um, at least we have this catapult in play now. Uh, let's go ahead and move this pikeman there. We're gonna have you fortify so that you don't, you know, die. And then, actually, wait. No, you move one more tile that way. You move that direction. You move over here. And this crossbowman is still not leveled up. All right. So we need to fire on these guys now. See, they just changed the game by bringing back their encampment. They've been, I guess they've been working on that in the shadows, and unless I eliminate this, they're going to have the ability to really wear down my units quickly. So let's see if we can deal with that. I don't know why the knight can't do anything. I didn't attack with them this turn, did I? That was last turn. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take care of the encampment, because that will also kill a knight. This pikeman will take some damage, but... Wait. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, it's gone. Okay, it's pillaged. Okay, I, I don't know what just happened. They should have uh, occupied it, but that's so much the better, because now they, they can't be fired upon. Let's, um... Yeah, I don't know why the knight can't move. I'm a little bit confused. Maybe I got... Maybe I did attack this turn and didn't realize it, but for whatever reason, I can't move that knight. We'll figure it out soon. Like to the apples on nice. the Dead Sea shore, all ashes to the taste. That's nice. Also, um, I'm seeing lots of barbarians. I mean, there's definitely, it's definitely unscouted, which is nice, but we need to get a military unit over there that can actually land and, uh, let's actually, let's give you some experience. We need to get a milita military unit on land and helping to clear out those barbarians, because it looks like they're pretty prolific. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find safe spots to found cities. I mean, once the cities are down, they'll be fine. But, for the time being, it's a little bit dicier. Alright, well, tell you what, let's... Yeah, see, there's... There's goody huts, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff, but because I don't have land units, these caravels are not ranged. They can't fire on the barbarians on land. Which seems strange, I know, but they can't. Um, we've got Domre's building three turns away from one here. That's going to be a huge game changer. We have another caravel on the way. That'll help us explore. And big surprise, they're firing on the knight. Here comes another Inquisitor. 
I was really hoping that cobble would fall faster than this. I'm a little bit frustrated with how long this is taking. The Hermitage has been built. Of course by Congo. See, this this just makes me feel like, forget Alexander, like as soon as we finish our war with Victoria and and um, kind of get our get the feet under get our feet under us. Yes, that's the phrase I was looking for. We may actually need to deal with um let's go ahead and go for a Daramir. Uh, we may need to deal with Congo. We might need to go straight for him. Also, hmm. Yeah, let's just let's do a Dom Ray here. We're gonna have a bunch of those. It's gonna be beautiful. And yes, there is there are AI settlers that are starting to hang out here. Not good. Um I can't do... I can't see what's here. I feel like I'm going to walk straight up into a horde of barbarians and lose this settler. Let me scout around a little bit and see if maybe if I put them there, I can see a little bit more of what's going on. We're going to do the same here. All right, we've met a new city-state, Amsterdam. That's nice. All right, this caravel can move a little bit faster, so they can help us scout the shore. Meanwhile, um, let's have you fortify up. This pikeman needs to come down... Join the front lines. Okay, let's see what we can do here. This knight can finally attack again. Let's see. If I move you here, you can fire on cobble for sure. So go ahead and do that. You will not be able to fire on cobble this turn. Yeah, you're, you're out of range. Of course you can't fire on cobble. Um, let's see. Let's move you there. Crossbowman there. You heal up. This crossbowman is going to be ready soon-ish. This warrior monk also ready soon-ish. Domray is almost ready. It's going to be a game changer. And of course, another knight rides out out of nowhere. Oh, actually, that's the level one knight that's been in Kabul this whole time. So they finally brought that one out to play. And now that... <laughs> Vicky, for real, you don't realize how pissed off I am at you. I'm sorry. I know I have war weariness. I know it's costing me, but you're going to lose your capital. It's just that simple. Give me a second to get these war, war, war elephants down to you. Holy crap, why can't I talk? Give me a second to get those down to you, and you'll see what I mean. All right, so... Yeah, we're using... Yeah, yeah! There's an encampment right there. If I had rolled that settlement up onto that spot... That would have been done. There's so many goody huts, though. Like, I need to get a military unit out there now. Tell you what, let's let's actually buy one with... What can I put out there? A quadrium could at least fire with range, but I need something that can get on the ground and fight. And I don't quite have enough to purchase anything just yet. I, I might do something with faith soon. All right, so... Hang on. If I move you... Yes, you can fire on a couple. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Actually, you need to pillage. So you can heal up, please. Pillage that farm tile, thank you. And now if we attack Cobble, yes, that's the end of their walls. Thank God. Took way too long. Um, let's now make them pay for what they have done. Cobble is finally within reach. That took way too long. I'm gonna move that, I'm gonna move that warrior monk back because these crossbowmen can hold their own more now. And then I'll put you here. Can you fire? Yes, you can. Perfect. Amazing. Aw, you didn't kill him. But that's even better. Can't do as much damage next turn. We're gonna move that caravel across. Norway has started to settle the new world, but it looks like there's not a lot going on on our side, which is perfect. Gives me more opportunity to accomplish all kinds of things. Dom race. Dom race. Or one turn away from Dom race. Uh, eight turns away from that one. Eight, nine turns away from that one. Nine turns. All right. So basically within 10 turns, maybe even within this episode in general, we're going to have a bunch of Dom race moving down this way. If you haven't seen them in action yet, it's quite a treat. Great, Norway doesn't like me. You have different governments. Okay, I really don't care right now. This is my sole focus. Sorry. In peace, one is okay. despoiled by mercenaries. In war, by one's enemies. All right, professional army is a policy we will probably want once we 
yeah, the, the discounted unit upgrades we're almost certainly going to get. We're not going to do anything with that just yet. Okay, now here's a knight. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to purchase a knight at Bhavapura, evidently. Uh, let's do that. We're going to send them across the ocean. The ocean blue. And uh, see what they can do. Meanwhile, <laughs> that, that rhyme was not intended. I cannot claim that. Uh, let's see. Merchant Confederation, if we went for medieval affairs. Plus one gold from all your envoys at city-states. <laughs> Actually, it's not that much. Um, diplomatic service. Let's go for that so we can go for spies. Great scientist. Yes, please. It is the mark of an educated Research mind. Research in education is now completed. Enter progress towards the Enlightenment has advanced It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to... Okay, so Angkor Thom. First of all, let's go ahead and take care of this great scientist. So this reveals oil without the normal technology requirement. We've discovered a new source of oil off Bhavapura. And um, looks like that's it. We don't have a lot of oil in our territory. But I'm going to keep focusing on... Um, We've got our first Domre. It'll be ready to go in a second. It's, it's ready to go right now. But should I just train more? Or maybe go for additional knights, maybe? <laughs> to get back against Victoria? Um, we could also do an additional battering ram just to make sure additional walls fall quickly. Siege towers might be more helpful at this point. But in my experience, siege towers, I mean, battering rams just go through the walls. I haven't always seen siege towers be particularly useful. I mean, I can see, I mean, I'm sure you're reading. That's what they do, attacking melee units, ignore walls. But I haven't always seen that actually happen. So I don't trust it completely. I'm going to go for a knight instead. Whereas normally you might think, well, yeah, why, why wouldn't you go for the siege tower? That's why. So let's go for gunpowder. It's going to be done in 11 turns and we can um, substantially uh, change the game in that regard. All right, this scout is finally on land. We're going to start looking around, see if we can investigate some of these goody huts on the far side here. Meanwhile, still looking for settlement spots. We're going to wait until we have a unit that can really participate. This crossbowman needs to level up too. Hang on. Plus one additional attack per turn if unit has not moved. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and fire on this encampment. Because it looks like it was regaining a little bit of strength. Um, I'm also... Let's see. smart thing to do here would be... Hmm. Yeah, I want to take Cobble. I, I want it right now. But the issue is... I need to get... Hang on. I need to get this knight out. Let me think. This pikeman probably could do well. Yeah, you go ahead and attack those guys. You guys go back here. And then we're going to need to move the Great General. Can you still move? You can't move this turn, but if I were to move you over there, at least you would be in range of some of the other... Well, right now you're still in range of all the units I need you to be in range of, so you stay there. That's fine. Let's go ahead and have the catapult here. Fire on Cobble. We're going to move that pikeman in a little closer. The Domre's on their way down. Oh, good! Promotion available. Wasn't expecting that at all. Let's go ahead and also fire on these guys. Ah, we've got some uh, cattle over here we can improve with that builder. It really does look like Gilgamesh is seriously contemplating invading me. I'm going to keep, I'm probably going to keep that particular Dom right up there. Interesting, they're attacking the crossbowmen and doing a good amount of damage. So much that they just lost a unit. Sorry, Vicky. Yep, there he is. Why do I fight? Because I can. Well, you're friendly with me, dude. So just like every other AI in the game, screw good relationships. You just want to kill me. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so they're going to give me chocolate. Let's do that because we need it. So we're once again at war with an AI that is random. I'm actually kind of pissed off right now. We're, we're at war with an AI that has been friendly to us and for no good reason decided they wanted to go to war with us. I don't get it. I legitimately don't understand it. <laughs> it's not a figurative misunderstanding. Ugh. <sighs> Let's see, this scout does need to level up. Let's give them faster movement. I don't get it. All right, uh, grape shot, yep. And then let's see here. I might lose you if I'm not careful. I 
could go ahead and put you here to where any move you tried to make. There we go. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Let's move this pikeman there just to make sure nothing can come down and take these guys. And then Boudica, why don't you... Well, no, you're pretty good where you are, actually. This knight does need to heal, though. Are you not linked with anyone right now? No, you're not. Or you you were a second ago, but you're not now. Domre, come down to... Well, that was... There we go. Yeah. Hey! Domre in range, and you're almost done healing, thank God. They're going to be in a better position to assist with the assault soon. Um, crap. This is not a good situation up here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a an armory built up there. It's going to be six turns till the Domre is done. I'll go ahead and get this Warrior Monk in play, I guess. Um, we're going to have it just in Vimeapura. This is going to be a little bit... dicey here. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get out of this one, because he's attacking a little bit more substantively, shall we say, than Alexander did, and I don't have anything really in place to deal with him. Again, that's why I'm so frustrated. It's like, if you're going to do this, at least give me some indication beforehand that you don't like me. But instead, he just builds up an army and says, just kidding, I hate you. And it's it's immersion breaking. That's why it upsets me. If it's not clear why it gets on my nerves, that's why. I find it unbelievable. Literally unbelievable. Like, it's not doesn't mesh with the narrative the game is creating by having me be friends with Gilgamesh up to this point. All right, so, yeah, let's go ahead and fire on the encampment again so that you can't continue to repair it. Now, is that actually doing anything, or... No, it's not doing anything. Dom rays are almost ready. Six turns until this one's done. We've got some knight training as well. Crossbowman training there. So definitely we have units that can help, but they're just not ready yet. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and fire on as many of these guys as we can. We don't really have the means to defeat... Yeah, God, these, the Mayapur is in trouble. We've got medieval walls, and that's good. Anything they throw at me will have a little bit of trouble in that regard, but... Uh, Let's, see, let's have Boudica join with these guys. Oh, the battering ram is still linked with them. Okay. In that case, fine. Let's link all of you up. There we go. All right, let's see what happens. This is going to be interesting. I have no means of really defending against this. The only thing I could do is stop producing one of these units that ultimately, if I can manage to get one out, will actually be really helpful in a defensive effort. And big surprise, they rode out with another random-ass knight. No, Vicky. They rode out with another random ass knight, and they're attacking my level 5 crossbowman. <laughs> Where are all these knights coming from? Where are you getting them? I, I don't... Ex explain this to me. Oh my gosh. Alright, so... Yeah, we need to... First of all, let's move this swordsman down. Let's move this crossbowman back. And once again, a unit that was about ready to help with the assault is now going to have to back off a bit. So, let's go ahead and you can fire on Cobble. And you need to do that because the city's not dying fast enough. This is really frustrating. All right, so... Stomray's almost ready. They just need to get in range a little bit more. Surprisingly, they didn't really do much up here. And I could even... We're going to send that Great Journal home right now. <laughs> now that puts the great the warrior monk at risk for sure, but it just weakened all their units until he gets that great general back. So that was a really, really dumb move on his part. Just gonna weaken some of the stronger knights around the area. Alright, well I guess we'll move you down a little bit closer. You can assist with the attack soon. No, can't do anything with that. Let's cancel that move. The Mayapura, yeah, just continue your route. You're probably going to get pillaged in a second anyway. More goody huts. We're, we're Again, we're going to have a unit over there soon that can explore. Ooh, actually, you know what? We might have just found a settlement spot. Let's explore a little bit farther with this caravel. We might have found one spot to put a city. That looks relatively safe. So many goody huts. It's a shame we found this area so densely populated. By barbarians, that is. Just wanted to explore a little bit more. We're not actually going to settle there. All right, and this knight's going to take his sweet time getting across. Ten turns, in fact, but that's fine. All right, yep, get that cattle improved. That should help with the dom rate a little bit, maybe. Not really. 
We could always train more warrior monks, but they're not that efficacious against Sumerian knights. All right. What's she going to do, Vicky? Attack my warrior. Big surprise. Yep, they pillage the trade route from Vimeopur to Angkor Thom. So that production bonus for the Domre is now gone. What a shame. Now this is actually, these guys, um, this unit here, what's it called? This is a um, cavalry unit. They're pretty strong, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. They've, they've got v Vimeopura surrounded, excuse me. So we need to keep damaging their weakest units. We're five turns away from a Domre. Or their strongest units, rather. Take away from their attack power. Four turns away from Domre's here, so. All right. Can you actually get into the action now, please? That would be great if you could actually make yourself useful. Let's go ahead and switch these guys' places so that the level 5 is safe. And then the Domre... Tell you what. Oh, he can't... Because they keep... For whatever reason, this thing has, like, some small... I guess I have to attack it with, um... Yeah, that's what it is. I have to attack it with a, a unit that can actually... Move. Because it has some small measure of hit points. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do just that. And then maybe the Domre will be able to hop across and hit Cobble directly. Because I've been saying this whole episode, Domre's, 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 and they're just... He's hanging out behind the encampment because the encampment has 0.5 hit points. Thank you. That's what I wanted you to do the whole time. You jerk. Alright, let's use that level 5 injured crossbowman to deal some damage to Cobble. And it is finally time for this city-state to be ours. And the Dom rate, once they level up, London should fall a little bit faster. I'm being stubborn, I know. I'm fully aware that I'm being very stubborn, and I want London. Like, we need to push for that and have that extra military policy, um, especially considering the shenanigans that are going on up north right now. If I don't keep pushing, um, especially going for that, again, going for Alhambra, going for Petra, I just don't think I'm going to be in a good position to finish the game. So I'm putting myself at a bit of a disadvantage now, hoping that I can really surge back in the end game with some of the new cities we're about to found and all that stuff. So, keep your fingers crossed, because I know this is a little Yosemite touchy. Yosemite Valley to me. Okay, found Yosemite. That's nice. Okay. Just one colony out here, and it's far away from ours. I feel like, yeah, this is definitely going to be a good spot to settle. Let's see. We've got a goody hut here. Um, some tobacco, Yosemite. If I were to settle, we need to find a spot along... See, here's the issue. I can't see where any rivers are. I cannot see any rivers. There should be a river leading out of Yosemite right there, but I don't know for sure until I put the settler on land. And I don't necessarily want to use the settler to scout. <laughs> uh, all right, what's going on here? Now, there is a river here. We could definitely put a city right here and be okay. That would actually be... It wouldn't be terrible. Um, I'd prefer to have a city closer to that barbarian encampment, frankly. Let's keep searching down here so we can find a spot that's a little bit more enticing. These tiles might be worthwhile. We'll have a look. All right, Sumer, what you gonna do? What's Vicky gonna do? Yeah, he's just riding around pillaging me for the most part. It looks like he brought the Great General back and once again left it exposed. Your promise is broken. Are you serious? I, my... Tr <clears throat> See, this. look at this. Your promise to the Empire of Congo to move the troops on the border has been broken. It, the troops are fighting a war against Victoria and her territory. It's not my fault. Cut me some slack, sir. All right. Great general, gone. Now I can move straight back into my city. That was satisfying. And let's uh, hit that catapult while we can. All right. This knight's ready in Angkor Thom. So probably going to go ahead and have them... A couple different things I could do. I could have them attack the cavalry. Mm, or should I have them join the battle? I'd rather have them join the battle down here. We need to keep the pressure on. Speaking of that, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so this would count as a major victory if we went ahead and attacked. Let's do that. Now, can I attack with this catapult after rolling? If the game keeps telling me I can't, but it's letting... Oh, yeah, it's letting me. There we go. All right. Cobble might finally fall at the end of this episode. 
took so much longer than it was supposed to, despite the fact that we built a battering ram, despite the fact that we have all these units in the area. <sighs> all right, you fortify up, and meanwhile, you go back there. Let's see. Ankor Thom, you're going to need... Hmm. I kind of want to build just another Dom Ray and Inkrothon, but we also need to make sure that we're continuing on our... Well, let's do, an, let's do an industrial zone. Let's take a look at City Overlap, because this is going to help with production in general. All right, this is three City Overlap. These are four City Overlap tiles, but those are all... Actually, if I put it there, it would be a four City Overlap. That could be useful. Yeah, let's put it there. And it's a pretty good production bonus. Plus two. So many goody huts. No means to explore them. Don't want to bring any of these guys down until we know for sure what is offshore. Alright, this pikeman can actually attack Cobble. No, it can't. The game lied to me again. Again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get annoying. Oh, man. All right, this builder needs to get away from all those units. All right, this could be an interesting turn, because I feel like this would be a chance for him to really lay some hurt on Vimeopora. He's got that catapult in range. Vicky, knock it off. I don't think you guys understand how much I hate Victoria. Like, I, I don't mind perpetually... Uh, vicious lady. Okay. Um, those who thought us weak litter the ocean floor. It's an honor to meet you. Ex exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. It should help promote trade. Sure. Why not? Um, well, now they're bringing down more units. So let's pay some of them a visit. This um, this knight can go ahead and attack from within the encampment and not really be at too much risk. So I'll focus on that. Meanwhile, you are dumb enough to keep some of these units in range of my range. Why are you not doing more? The AI is behaving inexplicably. I won't necessarily complain because it's enabling me, but this is a little bit ridiculous. Okay, this should be it. All of your cobble are belong to Hadrian. Actually, all of your cobble are belong to cobble because I'm about to liberate it. And then we might get pushed out of their territory back into ours. But then we can turn on London, which actually would put us in range of being able to fight back against Sumeria really quickly. Might even make peace with Vicky for a bit, maybe. Uh, keep the city. Let's go ahead and liberate founded. Boom. Oh, cool. Actually move some of our units closer to cobble. That could work in our favor. Or to London. Let's go ahead and finish off this knight with that knight. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's, um... We do want these guys to join the fight, for sure. Let me keep you in range. Kabul enforces borders. So again, because we are now suzerain of Kabul, um, we receive double experience from battles we initiate. Pretty handy, really. Alright, so you stay put. What else can I do here? I can use this warrior monk to finish off that catapult. Let's do that, because he can level up, and he'll be substantially stronger in the coming episode. We're almost three turns away. Actually, we are three turns away from the Domre. So that'll be done there. Two turns away from these. We're building a couple there, so in a few turns. Also, it looks like most of our traders have been pillaged, so we're going to have to rebuild those again. <laughs> Once again, attacked by an AI that was completely friendly to us. I'm a little bit jaded at the moment, just because I, I, know, I know I'm playing on a high difficulty level, but I want the AI's decisions to make sense. I'm sorry, it's just... It's just a natural way of interpreting the game. Some people agree, some people don't. I know. It's just the way that it is. It's the nature of my frustration. But, um, let's see. Eight gold per turn. I'm not going to open my borders to you, but I will take the rest of this deal. That's fine. I will give you my silk for that amount of gold per turn. And we are 35 minutes into this episode. I keep playing episodes over time for some strange reason. Hello. What are you doing? You're attacking my Domray. That's not very nice. Um. Oh, Hi. Wasn't expecting you to come riding out, so this warrior monk could be in danger. He just got a promotion, too. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's the that's the cavalry unit. No, 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 no! Oh. 
See, this is why I'm pissed. Like, I would feel a little bit better about this if there was a reasonable explanation for his attack, but there's not. And there never is. Like, the AI have a tendency to just be like, hey, friendly, 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 and attack. I'll stop complaining now, but it's annoying. So, let's see. Pikeman units. Um, let's back you up into Cobble Territory. Give you extra combat strength versus those units. And then this Dom Ray also needs to be backed up. If I move you here, you'd be vulnerable to London. Um, yeah, this Dom Ray really doesn't have an easy way to get away from Leeds. Let's back you to there. And at least you can fire on Leeds from there. Don't want to be too hasty here. This is kind of a critical moment because we have some units in range of London and some not. You need to heal up. You can just come through Leeds' territory, or Cobble's territory, rather. I kind of want to just kill that knight right now. All right, you right up there and hang out. You right in here and heal. And we are going to go ahead and stop this one here, I think. Let's see. Once we've done a little bit more looking around. Again, we're waiting on this knight to take his sweet time getting over here. And then we'll have a little bit more information, especially up here on where the, the best spot for this settler to land would be. And we might even bring the other settlers back up here to all settle in this area. Might be the best thing to do, to have a, just a kind of a cluster of cities. Uh, let's have you... Yeah, Babapur is fine. Boudicca, you can just sleep. And yeah, we want to keep you there. We'll have you fortify so that they can't hurt you as badly. And on that note, are we almost done? City range attack? Oh yeah, hold that thought. Two turns away from the Dom right here, so everything they've been doing is about to give my brand new War Elephant a lot of experience. So that's the end of this episode. I will go ahead and cut this one. In the next one, we are going to bring all these War Elephants, war elephants up here to not only help with the conquering of London, but also help ward off Sumer's forces a bit. And then we're going to try, after that point, to have some peace and quiet and relax and settle some cities out here and try and catch up in the Tech and Civic game because this war has just slaughtered me. And then the very next focus after that will probably be the Congo, honestly, because if I don't take him soon, if I don't take over his territory, he's going to run away with this game. He probably already has run away with this game because he's Congo on Emperor difficulty. Why I didn't manually select opponents for this series, I don't know, but we're going to try. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at noon Eastern time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.